So um, at about three weeks old, our daughter Emerson was diagnosed with hydrocephalus and has had uh, four brain surgeries, uh, six surgeries altogether. And so we were looking for um, an outlet to really invest our energy in and try to figure out something that we could do for those that don't actually have an opportunity to get surgery, who don't have um, the means. And we found the Hydrocephalus Association and for the past three years, we've been part of the walk and um, they've actually been kind enough to, to uh, invite me to the board. So now we're actually trying to get back to, um, to HA in the community and just trying to bring awareness to something that not many people know about. I mean, when you meet Emerson, you see her personality, I don't think it would ever cross your mind that anything is ever wrong with this beautiful no. child. No, and yet if every day you're living with a ticking time bomb that at any moment something could go wrong. And that's kind of, um, that's unfortunately one of the, the downsides of hydrocephalus is there hasn't been much exploration into a cure. And the cure is something right now that's been around for 65 years and we need to evolve that. And that's part of what we're, the awareness we're trying to bring to the charity and what this walk is about is to drive more research to helping these kids find a cure because brain surgery should not be the only option. Go Kings, go! Heather, you're a runner, but yeah. this is your first race back. Explain to us why. Um, well, I was diagnosed in December with breast cancer, and so I had um, 12 rounds of chemotherapy and radiation. This is my first race back since uh, I've been four months removed now from chemo, and I'm doing immunotherapy, and so I have this port right here. So I was just talking to um, one of the, I guess hydrocephalus it, um, has a port too in the brain. So we were talking, we were comparing ports. I was comparing ports with someone over there earlier. <laughs> it was testimony to how much love that we have for uh, for Matt and Jen and Charlie and Sadie, and they're an unbelievable family, and they support everybody right back. And so you know we love them. They're they're great people, they're family, and it's just a it's an honor to be able to hear and support. You know to see him grow up, the way he's evolving, and it's fun. You know he comes into the room and he's running around. He knows everybody's name, so. Um, you know, days like today, if we can uh, come out and help a little bit, it uh, means a lot to us. He's been through a lot from a very young age, and to see him grow and hang out with everybody, be very open and, and comfortable and, you know, playing games and, and just being a being a fun kid to be around. And the support he has is, is phenomenal, not only from, you know, the Los Angeles Kings organization, the players and their families, but but the whole public. And, uh, you know, the, that's that's why we're here. We need to raise some money to, to hopefully end this and stop this. and. Uh, it's not something you want to see any kid go through. The organization being a family, you know, even if you're not here day in and day out, you're still family. Um, and Jared's a perfect example of that. Um, he's one of our best friends. He is family. You know, obviously we stay in touch um, throughout the year. Um, and for him to be here, it means so much. It's amazing how big this event has gotten over the last few years. Hydrocephalus Association doesn't pay any cost related to the walk. You know, the Kings pay it all, which is just amazing you know and that's you know I wish more teams and more organizations did what we do because we're doing two events all the money raised literally goes back to the association for research it's great